filling up with the water right now. Oh my god. What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? We're gonna be doing something pretty cool here to celebrate the holiday of Halloween. So basically, like about a month or two ago, like way before Halloween, I made a Halloween video. Basically, I just went into the Halloween store, found some like random spooky stuff, and then I went fishing with that stuff. But while I was there, you guys did not see this. So in the store, I saw this. It was like an instant brain blast. Let me show you guys real quick. Now here's like all my muddy shoes and everything I need to clean up, but this is really what I'm talking about right here. Now Kelsey actually turned this into like a flower pot. There she is, y'all. I'm saving this thing's life, man. It was not meant to be a flower pot. This Halloween cauldron, which is cauldron, whatever you want to call this thing, this was meant to catch fish. Let me tell you guys kind of what I'm talking about right here. This little dude right here is going to help us catch some fish. We are going to be trying our best to turn this guy into a working fish trap. So pretty much, man, I'm going to turn into Bob the Builder. I'm going to figure out some way to turn this thing into a fish trap. So pretty much, I'm going to put this in the water. The fish are going to come inside. They're going to be trapped inside. There's going to be like bait in there. Then we can use that bait to try to catch us some bigger fish. Dude, I'm excited for this, man. If you guys are excited for this video, make sure to go down there, smash that like button. Now, I've actually never done this before. We're going to try to set a like goal for this video. If this video gets too 2,000 likes, we're gonna create another crazy fish trap. I have some other ideas in my head. But yeah, let me show you guys how I'm gonna turn this into a fish trap. First thing I'm gonna do, I have this packaging tape. I'm just gonna tape over the whole top of this cauldron. It's pretty much just like kind of gonna be like a lid sort of thing. So this is pretty much like a little uh, lid of tape for our fish trap. This is kind of like step one. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back over with some tape and just like reinforce this so it's a decently strong-ish lid. All right, so the top of our cauldron is now completely covered. There are no holes at all as of now in this whole thing. I'm not sure if this packaging tape is really gonna work. I couldn't really think of anything else to put here on top. But yeah, I put two layers. It feels, I mean, it feels pretty good. It feels strong. Next, we need to make a hole and this is kind of gonna be our little guide. This is actually like, I think the perfect size. I'm gonna use this lighter. I'm gonna heat up the tip of a knife so that it, it cuts really easily through this plastic. There we go, man. You guys can see all the way up there into our little uh, little tape ceiling. This is going to be the entrance to our fish trap. This is going to be where the fish swim in and hopefully they cannot find their way out. All I'm really doing now is creating holes in this so it'll help sink. That's a big problem I have with these fish traps is that it doesn't sink a lot of the times. And basically, I mean, I don't need to heat the knife up this time because I don't need precision cuts. I'm just trying to, you know, make some holes. All right, y'all, here we are. We have made it to the spot. I'm almost positive that there's gonna be some fish in this water to catch this. It's like, it's like a little it's like a little hole down here. I have had success in the past with some minnow traps. Those were like actual minnow traps though. Not little Halloween cauldron thingies. So pretty much as y'all can see, I put all these holes all over it. And I even put some in the very top here because I'm kind of concerned that this thing's not gonna sink. That has been a problem with other minnow traps in the past. We're gonna see right here, man. All right, let's see if this thing's gonna sink. All right, it's filling up with the water right now. Still not sinking, still not sinking. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I feel, dude. So I just let the water fill up, let all the air out of it. Dude, this is looking like the best minnow trap that we've made yet. The way that it's like staying in the water like that. Now I gotta put, I guess I should've put this in first. I don't know what kind of bread this is. All right, stuff the hole. Oh God. Is this going to sink all the way is the question. Right now our trap's sort of like in this uh, hovering phase. This is gonna be it, man. This is the key. Decent little rock right there. Oh my God, giant spider was under that. Whew, all right, y'all, quick update, man. This was very difficult to actually try to get in the right spot. So basically I was over there and then I came all the way around over here and then I had to jump over here. It'd be a lot easier if I had my waders. But this is kind of what we got going on right here. I see, dude, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There's tiny little fish around the trap. Here's the trap right there. So as you guys see, this is kind of how I have it. There's like a branch and then I put a rock over top. It's kind of staying in the right spot. I'm gonna back up over this way. The water is extremely freaking clear right now, man. We're gonna let that sit and hopefully fish go in the cauldron, man. All right, y'all, this is gonna be the first time checking it. Let's see if we get anything here. I'm gonna take the rock off first. Lift this up real quick. Oh. Dang, dude. All right, first attempt, uh, that was a uh, bit of a fail. 
All right, I just set our trap back down there. I think the problem, the bread was like on the top of the water. Like it was kind of floating up and the fish, it seemed like they were attacking the bread more of like in the bottom of the water column. So what I kind of did, I took the bread, I kind of mashed it up as much as I could. So when I put it down there, it's sinking like a little bit more. It's kind of like in the middle slash like bottom of it. There's still some pieces at the top, but I don't know, man. I think that is going to be the key for our success here. Now this right here is actually some pretty cool footage underwater. So basically I dropped a piece of bread. You guys can see it falling right there. They don't want anything to do with it. And right once the piece of bread kind of hits like the bottom of that water column, these fish just tear it up. And this is exactly what I was talking about. These fish are really just feeding only on the bottom. There was bread floating on the surface. They didn't even want it. So as I said, that's why for the second time I made the adjustment and made sure the bread kind of fell down inside the trap. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know. I didn't know if it was gonna work, but I think I had a better chance that way. Whew, all right, y'all, this thing has been soaking for like maybe an hour-ish. I gave it a little bit of time. One thing I noticed though, what the heck is that? I mean, I've seen this stuff in caves and everything. I think it's like stalagmites, stalactites or something. But like, what the heck is it's it? It's like some white stuff that's dripping under a random bridge. I just, what is that? Anyway, guys, as I said, this thing has been soaking in here for a while. The bread seems to all have kind of come down to the bottom. So I'm hoping that there's gonna be some fish in here. I don't know, I don't wanna go too close. I don't want the stuff to drip on me too. Let's see if we turn this cauldron. I mean, it was living, it, it wasn't living a good life. It was being a flower pot. This is not what the cauldron is meant to be. This cauldron is meant to trap some fish. So we're gonna come over here, man. It, it's a little bit darker than it was earlier. I just, just spooked some fish. I saw stuff around. Hopefully I don't spook them out of the trap if there are any. All right, now let's see. I see, I mean, I see a bunch of fish down here. Hopefully some sad, it's coming here. <laughs> All right, I'm set there for a second. Guys, I can't exactly tell, but I think I see someone swimming in there. Whew, let me get this over here and do some better lighting. Now, the cool thing about those little uh, holes that I drained, pretty much all of the water just comes out as you lift it up, so you don't have to like completely dump it all out and everything. Before all the water runs out, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, I, yeah, I definitely can't see. There's a little bit of water left in there, and I feel, dude, I freaking feel some movement. We're gonna dump this out together. All right, I'm gonna go right through this hole here, right through the place they came in. If there's fish in here, they'll come right back out that hole. Let's see, anything yet? Oh my God, dude, there we freaking go, guys. That is a W right there, man. That is the first fish. I'm not sure what exact species that is, but dude, the freaking, dude, I just caught that in a freaking cauldron, man. We're gonna let that guy go right back to his family. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Anything else? Two more fish were there. I think that is all that is left in there. Yeah, that's definitely it. But there we go, guys. Two more little, what, what is that? What are, what are these? Either way, oh, drop one. Here goes the other one, man. Back to his family. Thank you for coming in, eating my bread, enjoying Halloween with me, my good sir, or my good lady, whatever you are. Nothing else left in there, just a little piece of bread. Holy crap, dude. Guys, we freaking did it, man. That is actually really, Really cool. It was just a thought I had in the store. I was like, yo, could I turn that cauldron into something that would help me trap some fish? Now, of course, we didn't trap like giant fish or like exotic fish or anything like that. I don't know the names of those fish. So again, if you guys do know like the exact names, can you put it down in the comments below? Overall, this, this was designed pretty well. They swam into the door and they couldn't, I guess, not get out or they just didn't want to get out because all that bread was in there. But dude, these little holes, I think if I make this again, I think I'd put definitely more holes. I put a few, I don't know if you can see that. I put a few holes on the top there, but I definitely put bigger holes and more holes in this thing just so it could sink better and also some kind of weight to actually help it stay in the same spot you know if you guys have any suggestions maybe i'll make this next year for halloween or something like that definitely let me know in the comments below i'd really like to see how you guys would have made this differently Wow, is that one inspirational cauldron. Guys, I had so much fun making this video, man. If you guys did like it, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button, it really does mean a lot. Feel free, man, to give me feedback on this specific fish trap right here. I know I, there are ways that I could have made it better. And yeah, man, that is pretty much it here for this video today. Now, this video is going up on Halloween, so happy Halloween to all of you guys out there. And just remember, even if you are a grown up, that does not mean like it's not a fun holiday. I feel like a lot of people, especially like older people, are like, you know, like Halloween's for the kids and everything. 
everything but you're only as old as you think you are and I, dude i freaking love candy and it's just i don't know everybody's so happy around this time of year the weather is awesome the fishing is about to get awesome and yeah man i just hope you guys have a really great halloween thank you so much for watching this video if you do enjoy my videos and if you're not already make sure to go down there hit that subscribe button. And if you never wanna miss a video from me, hit that notification bell. All the links to everything of mine are in the description below. That includes my Instagram and the merch. T-shirts, hoodies are all for sale on the website. The hoodies are pretty newish and they are clean. I freaking love that hoodie. As always guys, thank you so much for all of the support. It really, really, really does mean the world to me. I have some really awesome stuff coming up and there's just like trips in the near future. And I'm excited, man. So yeah, I'm just gonna say it one more time. Thank you guys so much for all of the support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.